Hello friends, today we are going to discuss a very important topic of stereochemistry which is stereospecific and stereoselective reactions. In this we will cover the following points, general introduction, reactions which are both stereospecific and stereoselective. Under this head we will discuss the stereospecificity and stereoselectivity of SN2 reaction, E2 reaction, electrophilic addition reaction of alkenes, deuteration of alkenes and nucleophilic addition of chiral aldehydes or ketones. And lastly, we will discuss some examples of stereoselective but non stereo specific reactions now we will first learn the definition of stereo specific and stereo selective reactions stereo specific reaction a stereo specific reaction is defined as a reaction in which stereochemically different reactants give stereochemically different products this means if a molecule has two stereo isomers and both are subjected to the same chemical transformation, then the products formed from the two stereo isomers are two different stereo isomers. A stereo selective reaction. It is defined as a reaction that yields predominantly one stereo isomer are one pair of enantiomers of several possible stereo isomers. This means if there are two or more than two possible stereo isomers of a product, in a stereo selective reaction we will predominantly get one stereo isomer or a pair of enantiomers. These things will be more clear if we go through the examples. Let's take the example of SN2 reaction. We know that in SN2 reaction nucleophile attacks from the back side of the leaving group that leads to the inversion in configuration. For example, if we allow this R isomer of secondary butyl tosylate to react with tetra and butyl ammonium acetate in DMF which is SN2 condition, acetate ion attacks from the back side of the tosyl group to produce this S isomer of secondary butyl acetate. Similarly, if we allow this S isomer of secondary butyl tosylate to react under the same reaction condition, acetate ion attacks from the back side of the tosyl group to produce this R secondary butyl acetate. Here we can see that R isomer of the reactant gives S isomer of the product while S isomer of the reactant gives R isomer of the product. So this is an example of a stereo specific reaction. If we view in terms of stereo selectivity there are two stereo isomers or we can say two enantiomers of the products. In both the reactions one is selectively formed. So this is also an example of a stereo selective reaction, E2 reaction. These are the three things we should know about E2 reaction. It's a bimolecular reaction proton abstraction and elimination of leaving group occurs simultaneously. For the elimination to occur, leaving group and proton and the beta carbon should be empty. Let's have this molecule with two chiral centers. If we label chiral centers as 1 and 2, in stereochemical terms we can say that it's 1s2r stereo isomer. We are allowing it to react with ethoxide ion under E2 condition. 
in this molecule leaving group and the beta proton are empty to each other so elimination will occur like this to produce E alkene suppose we have a stereochemically different isomer 1s 2s and we are allowing it to react under the same reaction condition here living group and beta proton are not empty to each other so elimination will not occur in this conformation if we rotate C2 through 120 degrees around the C1-C2 bond like this, it will give another conformation with leaving group and beta hydrogen empty to each other. Now, elimination will occur like this to produce Z alkene. Here, we can see that 1s 2R isomer gives E isomer while its stereochemically different isomer 1S 2S gives Z isomer. So this is an example of a stereo specific reaction. If we view the outcome of this reaction in terms of selectivity, stereo selectivity, product has two isomers E and Z. In both the reactions, out of two stereoisomeric products, one is selectively formed. So, this is also an example of a stereoselective reaction. Since the relation between E and Z is diastereomeric, so we can say more specifically that this is diastereoselective reaction. Electrophilic addition reaction of alkenes. In this, we will discuss bromination of cis-2-butene and trans-2-butene. Let's first take cis-2-butene. We know that bromination of alkene is an example of anti-addition. That means the two bromine atoms will add from the opposite faces of the alkene. So, if one bromine on the left carbon of the alkene attacks from the bottom face, the other bromine atom on the right carbon will attack from the top face of the alkene to give this structure. Similarly, if one bromine on the right carbon of the alkene attacks from the bottom face, the other bromine atom on the left carbon will attack from the top face of the alkene to give this product. If we look these two structures carefully, we will find that these are mirror images of each other and thus enantiomers. Since the probability for the attack by the bromine on the two faces of the alkene is equal. So, we will get 50-50 mixture of these enantiomers. If we define these structures in terms of erythro and trio, these are trio isomers. For more details about erythro and trio nomenclature, you can follow my video, the link of which is given in the description of this video. Now, let's take trans 2-butene. If one bromine on the left carbon of the alkene attacks from the bottom face, the other bromine on the right carbon will attack from the top face of the alkene to give this structure. Similarly, if one bromine on the right carbon of the alkene attacks from the bottom face, the other bromine on the left carbon will attack from the top face of the alkene to give this structure. If you look these two structures, we will find that these two structures are the same. It will be more clear if we rotate this molecule through 180 degrees around this axis like this. Now, this is more clear that these are the same molecule. 
this is the mesoform if we define the structure in terms of erythro and threo this is erythro now we can see that bromination of cis 2 butene gives 50 50 mixture of enantiomers or threo product and the stereochemically different trans isomer gives meso or erythro product so bromination of 2 butene is an example of a stereo specific reaction 2 3 dibromobutane has 3 stereo isomers 2 enantiomers and a meso bromination of cis 2 butene selectively gives a pair of enantiomers while bromination of trans 2 butene selectively gives meso so bromination of 2 butene is also an example of a stereo selective reaction deuteration of alkenes in this we will discuss deuteration of cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene let's first take cis 2 butene hydrogenation or deuteration of alkene is an example of syn addition that means both the deuterium atoms will add from the same face of the alkene addition of deuterium atoms from the top face of the alkene will give this structure and addition from the bottom face will give this structure comparison of these two molecules will be easy if they are in the similar orientation if we rotate this molecule through 180 degrees in the plane like this we will have both the molecules in similar orientation now we can see that both are the same molecule this is the mesoform if we define the structure in terms of erythro and threo this is erythro now let's take trans 2 butene addition from the top face will give this structure while addition from the bottom face will give this structure for the ease of comparison rotate this molecule through 180 degrees in the plane so that they are in similar orientation if you look these two structures carefully we will find that these are mirror images of each other and thus enantiomers since the probability for the attack by the deuterium atoms on the two faces of the alkene is equal so we will get 50 50 mixture of these enantiomers if we define these structures in terms of erythro and trio these are trio isomers now we can say that deuteration of cis 2 butene gives meso or erythro product while the stereochemically different trans isomer gives 50 50 mixture of trio product so this is the example of a stereo specific reaction 2 3 dideutrobutane has three stereo isomers two enantiomers and a meso deuteration of cis 2 butene selectively gives meso while deuteration of trans 2 butene selectively gives a pair of enantiomers so deuteration of 2 butene is also an example of a stereo selective reaction nucleophilic addition of chiral aldehyde or chiral ketones suppose we have a chiral ketone with s configuration it reacts with lithium aluminum hydride to produce diastereomers with 3 to 1 ratio similarly if we allow r in enantiomer of the same ketone to react with lithium aluminum hydride it gives different diastereomers with the same ratio 3 is to 1 
the selectivity can be explained by cramps rule which i am not going to discuss here here we can see that s in enantiomer of the ketone gives sr and ss diastereomers while r isomer gives rs and rr so this is an example of a stereo specific reaction in both the reactions there is the possibility for the formation of two diastereomers but one is formed selectively as the major product so this is also an example of a stereo selective reaction or more specifically diastereo selective reaction now we will discuss few reactions which are stereo selective but not stereo specific one should remember that all stereo specific reactions are necessarily stereo selective but all the stereo selective reactions are not necessarily stereo specific for example reduction of acetophenone with dms borane in the presence of scbs catalyst gives r alcohol reduction of 4 t butyl cyclohexanone with lithium aluminum hydride gives a mixture of trans and cis alcohol with the trans being 92% and cis 8% in this example ketone cannot show stereo isomerism so there is no question about the stereo specificity out of two possible enantiomers only r enantiomer is formed so it is stereo selective similarly in this example this ketone cannot show stereo isomerism so there is no question about the stereo specificity out of two possible diastereomers trans is formed as the major product so this is stereo selective nucleophilic epoxidation of electron deficient alkenes with hydrogen peroxide in the presence of NaOH gives trans epoxide irrespective of stereo chemistry of the alkene here we can see that whether we use e alkene or z alkene only trans epoxide is formed so this is the example of non stereo specific reaction since out of two possible cis and trans isomers of the epoxide trans is selectively formed so this is stereo selective so the, this this reaction is the example of non stereo specific stereo selective reaction irrespective of absolute configuration when one phenyl propanol is treated with h2so4 undergoes even elimination to produce a mixture of e and z alkenes with 95% e and 5% z this is because both the enantiomers after protonation followed by dehydration produce common carbocation which after which after deprotonation produces more stable e isomer as the major and less stable z isomer as minor product since both the enantiomers give same ratio of diastereomers so this reaction is non stereo specific out of two possible e and z diastereomers we are getting e isomer as the major so this is stereo selective kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like my videos